In today's Gibscam Tech Tip, we're going to be looking at setting up tool blocks in your machine simulation to better assist you in getting your tools into position correctly uh, as we see in this simulation here with some of the tools just floating out in space as we have to put dimensions on that positioning. So we're going to close this file out and we're going to get started on our tool block here. And this is going to be a quick overview as to what is necessary in order to accomplish this. So we have our tool block here sitting in in our view we look at the XY coordinate system and we make sure that the tool block is positioned accurately to the center line of the turret so we have our dimensions here and we see that we are positioned here accurately we're also going to look at making sure that the height of the tool block is correct which we see that this one is not quite right yet we need this face in contact with our turret face so we're going to make a small move in that using our absolute translate and we're going to tune that block up into its position here so now it's sitting on its surface there so now on the other side here we've got some also some predetermined geometry and in that we're going to be utilizing the center line of these two lines here to position our attachment point coordinate systems so i'm going to grab that line there go to my geometry palette and put a point in the center of that line and then I'm going to do the same thing with this line over here. So those are going to be our coordinate systems for where our tools are going to be sitting for the left and the right hand side of this turret. I have a couple of coordinate systems set up here that I have already predetermined for those two positions. So here is our left hand turning tool facing the main spindle. Here is our right hand turning tool facing the sub So. Now that we've all of that information ready to go here, we can go to our intermediate tool block library and making sure that we're on the right machine here, we can start assigning our tool block. So we see our new tool block populated and ready to go. So I'm going to click on my block here, and I'm going to go to the root and I'm going to add a simulation body. And we're going to call this my double turn block. Okay. Apparently not typing so well today. All right, so now the block is assigned. So now we need to assign the two connection points for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate the left-hand connection point, and we're going to click on the root again, and we're going to add a receptor, and we're going to call this attach left. And since that coordinate system is active, I just need to click on from current CS and it assigns our vectors and our X and Y coordinates and Z coordinates as to where that position is. So then we need to add the other attachment point for the right hand. So we activate that coordinate system, go to the root again and add another receptor. And we're gonna call this one attach <coughs> right and again we're going to click the from current CS and we're ready to go so now we've got our vectors and everything correct there so now we can just go ahead and click on the add and what it's going to do is flash the screen and write this thing into the intermediate tooling library and we're about ready to go here and we're back to our file and now we see a tool block that is ready to be used so now that we have our tool block set up, now we can load our tools into our tool block. And I'll take the first turning tool here that's on the left. We'll put that in the tool block. And here's my tool block right down here. And we'll go ahead and close that out and put that in the attached left position. And then we can go to our second turning tool, which is on the right hand side. And we'll put that in the attached right position. So with those tools in the tool block, we can go to our machine sim and we'll see them here in the simulation. Thank you for watching this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, and if you have any further questions, please contact your local reseller.